What category ratings the meter that you're holding in your hand? This is one of the eye-opening questions that I asked during a training week. We've just been using the Brand X meter, and it's early on in the week. And I asked them, what do you know about meters? And immediately there's a divide in the room. And we have the fluke group, and we have the non-fluke group. Now, let's say the fluke group. There are some other main brands in there, but I'll say they're 90% fluke. And then I have the group that found the cheapest meter they could find on Amazon. And then I turned to the fluke group and asked them, what do you know about meters? And they are proud of their meters. I mean, they are telling me their part number. They've got a 179. They got a 789. They got this 87B. And then I'm like, okay, well, how, how do you figure out voltage ratings? What's important on a meter? And they always are like, oh, you got to know the category rating on the meter. They rarely know why they need to know the cat rating, but they'll know that their safety director has told them that, one of two things, either you're going to use category four period, or depending on your situation, you're going to look at the category three or category four rating. And then I asked the non-fluke group to find the category rating on the brand X meter that we've been using this week. And they look all around it and they say, well, it says 600 volts up there. So it, it must be a 600 volt meter. And I tell them after that, no, it will have a category rating written on the front of it. And then I asked them, is it really a good idea to put your faith in the lowest bidder when you're going to take these leads and plug them into 480 volts. After that, they're usually asking the fluke group, hey, what do I need to know about meters so I can purchase one next week? Now, I could simply ramble off a few part numbers that you should look at, but I want us to understand what the CAT rating means. And Fluke has a great guide to digital multimeter safety and... The second item down here is what are multimeter categories? And they do a good job of going through the cat ratings down here. But before you read into that, the second paragraph tells you what you need to know. While you're determining the over voltage installation category, which is cat two, three, or four, you'll want to remember to always choose the tool rated for the highest category you could potentially use it in and select a voltage rating to match or exceed those situations. So CAT4 is three-phase utility connection or any outdoor conductors, and it's limited by the utility transformer feeding the circuit. And anything greater than 50 kiloamp short circuit current rating. And CAT3, three-phase distribution, including single-phase commercial lighting less than 50 kiloamp short circuit current rating. And we do have CAT2, and I don't see it very often, but that's for single phase receptacle connections, less than 10 kiloamp. And they also give some examples on the right. Now for most of what I do, I would call it CAT3. Now here's where I have been going wrong all these years is, okay, I mostly work on 480 volt and below. And so I would think I need a 600 volt rated meter at CAT3. But don't forget about VFDs. So if we have a 480 volt rated drive, when that gets rectified to a DC bus, it's going to be your line voltage times 1.414. If we take 480 times 1.414, then we get 678 volts, which means if we're going to work on 480, and there are drives around, we need a thousand volt rated meter. I'll put a link to the Fluke document down in the description, and I've created this playlist right here with some helpful tips on selecting the meter.